M0FXB, RT3S, Open GD77 firmware. We're going to look at changing power levels using the radio. You can use it with, you can set the power level using the code plug. I'll show you that at the end. Let's just go back to the beginning. So there's our normal window. Press the green button for menu. menu channel and then you can go up and down, but this time go to channel details. Channel now details. we've got a lot of channel power seven five zero milliwatts. We do have voice prompts. We've got a lot of information here, and some of which you can actually change. So let's go down well, until we see. Level. Actually, we'll go channel up block. until we see All power. You can see there's lots of alterations that can be made, and some of it's information. Yes. Okay, channel power. Now we're, we're set at 750 milliwatts. Now we can change that by turning this knob. So we set it to 500 milliwatts. Of course, the radio needs to be calibrated, and you know, we can't, we don't really know how reliable the power um, hardware is on this radio. It's a budget radio. But anyway, to change this, once you've set it with the middle channel knob, just this, this one here, all you then need to do is push the green button and what we call the function button on the side here. So the button beneath the PTT basically. And, um, and it will hold it and it will display it on the screen and I will show you that. I'm just gonna push those buttons. Now we've exited the menu but what you'll see now, if we zoom in a bit closer, that it does actually say at the top, 500 milliwatts. Now this wouldn't be saved into your co-plug, just re remember that. And I'm pretty sure as soon as you start to change channel again, it reverts back, it's reverted back to 750, as you can see there. So that's, that's as much as I've, learnt on the power level changing. It's quite important because if you decide to use this radio as a hotspot, you need to make sure that the frequency signals can't leave your home. So um, I think that's a very handy thing, a very good battery saving. So the last part of this video will just be quickly showing you how to change the power when you're creating a channel. So we're on the GD77 Copla. Double click channels here. We've got a few channels created. Anyone you like. And then you've got a uh, selection here look power you can choose your power level there and there you go bye for now